Back in the safety of their own garden, Lynn still can't bring herself to let go. Andrew, can you get in now, please? Ben, Andrew, don't bounce, he's gone under it. Do the kids get any time out here? Not very often, no. No. Cooped up inside, frustration soon boils over. in the garden, they're not allowed just to go to the park, they're not allowed no freedom. So what have they got? They end up picking fights with one another, they're bored. I can't even sit down for a minute, I'm trying to do the tea! It's Ben and Georgia's bedtime. With Ronnie still at the football, it falls to Lynn to get them down single-handed. I want you to lie down. No? Because I can't get out. Mum's trying to get Ben off to sleep, but he's actually giving her a hard time. Come over. No, I don't want you. Bedtime. No, it's morning. Lynn finally escapes, but she's not taking any chances. Tell me why you just put that look on. Because Ben has a tendency to get up in the middle of the night or very early hours in the morning, you know. So you lock him in for what? So his safety. He actually brought the kettle up to his bedroom with water in it and plugged it in one day, so that's when I decided we had to do something. I can't wait to get back here tomorrow. I really can't, <laughs> because we really do need to talk. We really do. There is so much work to be done in this household, but I really do feel confident and positive about what I can do for this family. Let me talk about the locks in this house. I've got to say, I think it would be easier to get into the Bank of England than it would to get into some of these rooms here. But you're using locks instead of discipline. Discipline isn't in this house and it needs to be put in this house. There needs to be rules made up between the pair of you. You need to sit down and discuss what is a discipline act and what isn't. And if one of you are not backing up the other, then you have a nice fat wedge for your kids to play you off of one another.